What's up everyone, it's your boy Shotgun Gabe. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about Neo for a minute. So Neo is a long-term play for me. I got Neo originally a little bit over a dollar a share. And um, I like the EV sector. So I bought some Neo and I bought some fuel cell. If you guys have been following, um, you know that Neo went from a dollar fifty or a dollar around a dollar, a little bit over a dollar, it's like a dollar thirteen, all the way up to sixty. And fuel cell went from eight dollars at least when i got into it it was at eight dollars and it went over thirty dollars a share i sold some off i waited for the price to drop i got some more and i've been wa really wanting to take a call option out on neo now here's the thing for you guys that know there's been a chip shortage <sighs> and i've been buying tesla every time it's dipping under 600 um under 700 excuse me and Instead of stacking back up on my Neo, I still have some Neo because I still have some that I told myself I'm not going to sell until they get over 100 a share. But instead of buying more Neo and adding to that, which I probably will buy a couple of more, um, I think I really want to take a call option out. I'm expecting it to go over 100. You know, and I say I'm expecting it because, of course, this is not financial advice. This is just what I do and I, what works for me, you know. And for you guys that don't know, um, I had an Ally account and I turned a couple of hundred into a, a few thousand. Um, I have a Robinhood account. It's just primarily crypto. I actually have some AMC in there right now, too, because I wanted to buy more. Um, and I made a little bit of money off of AMC, but I turned that account into, it was a few hundred bucks and I got it up over a thousand. Um, but as you guys know, the crypto has been down right now. And then I got my Webull account. And um, I got my various crypto accounts that I just buy for Shiba, new ADA, and stuff like that. But bringing it back around, this is not financial advice. This is what works for me. And I'm slowly making money. And I'm not no millionaire yet trying to tell you guys, buy my course and I'm going to give you a Lamborghini. Or I'm going to show you how to buy your own Lamborghini. You know, but I'm making money doing this. And... Right now, it's really helping during these times, especially being a father, you know. But um, I expect Neo to go over 100. So don't start buying Neo, and then when it don't go over 100, be like, oh, I'm gonna sue you, or I'm gonna yell at you on your YouTube channel. This is what I'm expecting. Um, but if you drive, and I've been driving from Washington to Oregon, now I'm in California, and every time I go past the car dealership, I look at them. You know, because I like looking at cars. This is what I'm going to buy one day. I'm going to get this and that. And, you know, I'm the type of person is I'll live in a trailer. And if I make a lot of money, I'll have 10 cars, five motorcycles, a couple boats. You know, so I like looking at stuff and seeing, you know, oh, this is nice. Or that could be in my potential future. And these car lots are totally empty because of the chip shortage. So, you know, instead of looking at things like a negative, like, oh, man, there's no cars. You know what's going on? Like, ooh. There's not a lot of cars for sale. These companies are doing bad. You know, it's time to jump on board. You know, and there's going to be turbulence. You know, people expecting the Fed to increase the interest rates, inflation expectations and stuff. Don't forget that. So if that's what you choose, I'm starting to buy dividend stocks. You know, recession-proof stocks. I like AT&T. I got me some AT&T. I got me some um, OPP. I got me, um, I'm looking at some REITs right now. I'm trying to protect myself against inflation and hedge myself um, against interest rates going up. And, uh, you know, I decided it's time to start trickling in dividends because I was just looking at growth stocks and that's what kind of environment we've been in for the last year. I mean, look at last year. I mean, everybody made some amazing gains. Look at these guys with GameStop coming together. You know, look at us all in AMC right now. Shout out to all of us holding AMC. Um, I mean, what I've done in Neo was outrageous, you know, just to turn a few hundred bucks into a few thousand, you know, looking at something that I had and I said they're having problems shipping to their locations. And that's what made me want to go all in on Neo. I'm like, as soon as they get there, they're selling out their cars. And so I dove all in on Neo a, a few years back. And uh, now I'm starting to sell some of those off and diversify and buy stocks that I know have growth potential, buy stocks. Um, that I know are going to pay me dividends. You know, I've got me some AT&Ts. That's, uh, that's a high conviction play for me. Every time I see Tesla dip down, I buy more, but I don't know where it's going to go. But I'm just saying that right now could be an opportunity. So don't run out and sell your house and pour all your money into Ford and Neo and Chevrolet. But I'm just saying because of the chip shortage, 
sales are down, stuff's down, and maybe it's time to start looking at call options. That's what I'm doing, you know? So this ain't financial advice. This is what's gonna work for me. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about in my head. You know, and I watch other YouTubers that are more experienced than me. I go online and, 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 and I look up the income. I look up the cash flow and stuff like that. I, I study corporations. I get conference calls. I get on the conference calls. If I own a stock and I'm thinking about buying more, don't be afraid to get on the conference call and listen to what they're saying, you know? You get a lot of information. So. Um, this could be a big opportunity for all of us that are willing to buy more, you know, or have been looking for an opportunity to buy more Ford, you know, Ford's going, starting to go EV, a lot of these companies are, um, and start looking at call options, or you just start loading up on what you want to load up on. The next year or two might be a little bit shaky, we have a lot of ups and downs, you know, and when you make a little gain, don't, don't feel bad about selling off, and I'll make an example of that. So, I had a lot of AMC, and I started selling them. And I started diversifying the, the money I made. I mean, for buying them for $10 each, and they're up over 50, and I sold a few <coughs> after I bought more on another another brokerage. Um, I went and I started buying, I bought some AT&T, I bought some OPP, I bought some other ones, and maybe I'll make a video on what dividend stocks I'm buying. Um, there's a couple of monthly ones in there. REITs are really good because, you know, real estate, there's a few of them and the shipping ones they tend to pay monthly, but I'll make a whole other video on that. But don't be afraid to take a little bit of profit, especially in the, this economic climate right now, and to put some money away for you and your family, or to diversify them into something you know, or you trust a little bit more. You want to buy some Apple, you want some dividend stocks that are recession proof. Um, do that. I I get information from every point possible. I go on Instagram and I look at people that do um, investing. I got my buddies that sell me stuff from TikTok. They send me stuff from TikTok about investing. I'm on YouTube all the time watching other people. I go, when I'm looking at a company, I'll go to that company's page. I'll go to Yahoo Finance and stuff like that and I'll look it up. And, and we have families, you know, most of us have families. Some of us don't, you know what I mean? If, if you don't, you might want to build one in the future, but the best thing is to protect us financially and to make sure we have a good income, you know? So shout out to all you guys. If you guys make some money, you know, don't be afraid to sell some of those off and take profit, but just keep your eye on the automotive industry because there ain't a lot of cars right now. And once it gets pumping up, some of these are gonna shoot up. They're gonna start making money again. You know, a lot of people are putting their stimulus money away and a lot, a lot of people are spending. That's why inflation ain't through the roof yet. But you know, once these cars start pumping out, somebody might say, Shh, look at how much money I saved last year. Let's go buy a new car. So thank you for your time, man. I'm gonna enjoy my time in California. And if you pass me on the road, man, don't be, don't be afraid to wave. Everyone have a good day.